When I make circular frames like this, they start off as glued up octagons like this. Now you can join these segments with dowels, splines, or festool dominoes as I've done here. But then how do you cut this frame round? If you have a circle cutting jig and a router, like this one from Rockler, cutting circles is easy. And in a separate video, I demonstrate how to do this. But maybe you don't have one of these jigs. Well, no problem. You can still cut circles easily using a bandsaw and a couple of sanders. Here's how I do it. Now obviously, I can't cut this inside circle on a closed shape like this with a bandsaw because I can't get my blade inside. So when I'm gluing up the octagon, I leave two of these joints open and that way I can get my blade inside and cut this inner curve. But before I can do that, I've got to draw that curve shape. And to do it, I stick the octagon down with double-sided carpet tape to a piece of MDF. The board is quartered off with layout lines and there's a scrap block fixed over the center point. Now if I line up these four joint lines on the octagon with my layout lines on the MDF, I know that my frame is perfectly centered on the base. And with the center point established, I can measure out from the center to mark my inside and outside radii. Then, I use this trammel to draw two circular layout lines on just one half of the frame. It works the same way as an oversized pencil compass with a steel point on one end and a pencil on the other end. And with those two layout lines drawn on one half of my octagon, I can gang cut them both to shape at the same time. I just stack the parts on top of one another so their edges line up with carpet tape in between. Then press them together tightly to bond the tape. Make sure to arrange the halves so the meta joints are together. And now it's off to the bandsaw to cut these parts out. And there's no trick to the cutting process. Just be sure to use a good sharp quarter inch or three eighths inch blade and cut about a sixteenth of an inch outside your layout lines to build in some margin for error. Now glue the two halves of the rough frame together. An F-style clamp like I'm using here works fine for closing these last two joints. Then, when the glue dries, plane or sand the last two joints flush if needed. And from here on out, it's all about sanding to refine this circular shape. I use my disc sander to sand this outside edge smooth, and I use a large diameter drum in my spindle sander to clean up this inside edge. And that's how you turn an octagon into a circular frame like this by cutting and sanding rather than routing with a jig. Now a router and circle cutting jig will get you perfect circles, but a bandsaw and a couple of sanders will get you pretty darn close too. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.